Pointing with one's finger is a natural and rapid way to denote an area or object of interest in human-to-human -human communication. However, this useful interaction is underutilized in human-computer interactions and absent in contemporary smartphones. In this work, we present WorldPoint, a novel finger-pointing interaction technique that runs on off-the-shelf smartphones. In this example clip, a user attaches a receipt to a reimbursement email cleanly and efficiently using WorldPoint. At no time did the user have to navigate away from their current application context or even touch the screen. Compare this to the mechanism in iOS, in which users have to navigate away from their current app to take a photo. Not only does this interaction take nearly twice as long and require many precise presses on the screen, but this result is far less privacy preserved. To trigger WorldPoint, users raise their hand to point in front of their phones as a wake gesture. To save power, we check for the presence of a hand in front of the phone at 1 hertz. If a hand is detected, we proceed to landmark the hand joints at 4 hertz. We test to see if the hand is forming a pointing gesture, is at an appropriate distance from the phone to the user, and is pointing into the scene in front of the user. If these checks are passed, our full pipeline runs, which now increases to 20 hertz for smooth interactive tracking. We fuse camera data with depth data to create a point cloud, and we project a ray extending from the finger into the scene. We perform image segmentation in order to extract a masked crop of whatever object the user is pointing at, which is passed to end-user applications for interactive use. Note that users never see this debug view, and instead see this finger assistant icon appear when the wake gesture is detected, along with a preview of the pointed object. We envision our process running as a background service, much like voice assistants do today. As already mentioned, this could be useful when composing a document requiring external media. Instead of immediately attaching a document, the user can also copy objects to the phone's clipboard for later use. Using Apple's universal clipboard feature, the user can even paste the pointed object into a document on their computer. Another option is to direct content into different applications. Also, a user can point to a business card and say, WorldPoint could also be used for information retrieval. For example, while walking down the street and browsing the web, the user can point to a restaurant and ask, Please see our paper for full evaluations and implementation details.